Hi everybody, hello, how are you doing? Yes, back at it again and I'm your girl, Auntie Jane. And yeah, you said far, you said so far, most of you who are following me now will understand that most of what Auntie Jane is saying is coming to pass. Are you seeing it coming to pass? Are you seeing it? Are you seeing that is that when it come out that I am coming to say it? Yes, I'm going to start on the reader woman. Yes. Tell me if you turn reader woman. Oh, Alright. Anyway. Putting fun and joke aside now. Can you believe this? That Marlene. Malawu Ford. Is say, trying to use the. Trying to use it decent. Saying. Mark Golden is telling a lie. On her. And I am here to share it with you guys. And so that you guys can uh, judge for yourself and tell me who want to think I tell a lie. If I'm Mark Golden, I tell a lie. Or I'm Malawu Ford, I tell a lie. Right? Because this old CRC thing is just getting wacky. It getting out of. It getting out of control. It getting political in which way it should not have gone that direction to become political and something that is going to impact all Jamaican. It is going to impact all Jamaican. So it should be. Now, remember Mark Golin came out with a letter that he, he had stated the 7th of May that he said he spoke behind the speaker's chair in parliament to the prime minister and share some concern that he has. To date, the Prime Minister has not responded to, to, to Mark Golden as the leader and as the opposition. What is that telling us? What is that telling us? It telling us that Uno I use Uno I use bad manship. Mark will have none of that. So anyway, let me tell you now where um, Marlene says. The Jamaica Labour Party is expressing disappointment at opposition leader Mark Golden's decision to instruct representative not to sign the report containing the recommendation of the constitutional report. Mr. Golden stated that the decision that was made with the opposition team and the government team was okay except for some part in the class that Marlene Malaford did not let them see it and was taking it to parliament now she'll come out but believe back you that get me on this one guy you 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 you're you not telling a lie me know so they're up to something me know so they're up to something because the part that Mark is saying that is not in agreement with my people. And I'm going to make a listen to this, what Mark is saying. Listen to this. Of discontent by the opposition leader Mark Golding on aspects of the CRC report. He's appointed to 16 clauses. Among them, he says it should be clearly stated that the official name of Jamaica as a state is not to be changed to the Republic of Jamaica, but is to remain as Jamaica. He also is in disagreement with the proposed solution where the Prime Minister and the leader of opposition have not agreed on the President. He says any solution which enables the President to be approved via a simple majority vote of both houses of parliament effectively incentivizes the prime minister to choose someone who he or she perceives as favoring his or her party. Mr. Golding is also not in support of the proposal for appointing an interim president to act in a temporary vacancy. Changes relating to the composition of the Senate and extension of the Parliament beyond five years are also being opposed. On other issues, Mr. Golding has a sought clarity from the Constitutional Reform Committee. Meanwhile, the Jamaica Labour Party in a statement said the government has heard and positively responded to wide and consistent representation from across the island for Jamaica to become a republic. 
The statement further notes that the Prime Minister responded to public sentiment concerning the issue by establishing a bipartisan committee to advance the process. The JLP says it is disappointed with the decision of the People's National Party to refuse to sign the report of the Constitutional Reform Committee. Member of the JLP's Public Relations Council, Senator Shereen Golding Campbell, says despite significant progress made in acting on widespread public sentiment that Jamaica should become a republic, PNP President Mark Golding has chosen to potentially derail the process by making demands at the proverbial 11th hour. Senator Golding Campbell says the JLP is hopeful that the PNP will allow the agreed consensual process to continue. The Kinski Robbins. So you hear what was said in the clip? The issues that Mark Golding are having problem with. And as I would say now, Mark Golden, all I propose and they may not be where you are going to agree with as a, as a, as a government, too, you know. I saw discussion going on. I put forward something like Mr. Summer said. The PMP did say, not do our citizenship yet. But now we are make some changes. So it could have changed. But you know what I mean? So it have to be. We can have a dialogue on it if we not come to an agreement. And we leave that alone. It remain as it be. That's how, that's how it going on. You know what I mean? Him say, I saw it, I forgot. And I saw it, I forgot. We are into discussion. And when you are in a discussion, that's how it works. We discuss it. That's how things go. Lord have mercy. What a bangarang here. What a thing. What a thing. Now them are going to try for you. Everything that Mark do, you know, wrong. Because I say one of them, I say, oh, Mark, go on a foreign, go on to tell life on the country and all them something. So anything where they can get for you as a weapon is what they are going to use. But me tell you something. A lot of people don't make up their mind. And you see when people make up their mind, it's not easy for change. And that's where the problem lies with you right now. So, my viewers and my friend and my subscriber, leave on a view the conversation. can We know we're not going to stop with this. I'm telling you already. It's a vital importance that we understand and know what is going on in the land where we live and where we call home. Even when we travel out and go out, in Jamaica we are. No matter where I go, Jamaica is my home, right? So leave one of you. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Life with Jennifer J.M. Guess what? I am your girl, Auntie Jen. Catch you next time. Bye.